I'm going to ask a question different from what we were just discussing um, because I, I sort of want to now segue into your, your law practice. I've heard you say in, in other podcasts that you became a lawyer because you wanted to pay the bills so that you didn't have to charge for being a pastor. True. Um, is that still this, the case today? You know, all right. I need the truth. (laughs) Here's my, here's, here's the, the honest, straightforward, candid, full disclosure answer. I actually think that I'm doing something God wanted me to do for reasons other than pay the bills. Okay. I do think there's evil in the world. You mentioned that you think people are inherently good. I think a lot of people are good people. I also think that there are some inherently evil people. I think there's evil stuff that goes on in this world. I think that there's stuff that's that where greed can turn people into wretched. uh, um, You know, I don't know if you or any of your listener viewers um, were cared too much for the Lord of the Rings trilogy or movie by Tolkien. But Tolkien was a very devout believer, a Christian. And and so much of that book reveals a lot of his theology. And you have that creature Gollum who was able to find, who originally found the ring that would make him invisible. And he so loved his possession and he so loved what it enabled him to accumulate with treasure because he could steal and do whatever he wanted. Uh, uh, because he couldn't get caught. He had the ring of invisibility and it turned him into a monster. And, and I think that some people greed and what they want turns them into monsters and, and, and not good people. And, and so I, I believe at this point in my life, uh, uh, there is a righteous fight. And I think that's some of why I do what I do. I also I uh, have a daughter who's a lawyer, you know, Rachel. I have another daughter who is finishing up her first year of law school and she wants to practice with me. I have a nephew who is graduating in a couple of weeks from law school and he's going to practice with me. So I got all these people coming to work here that are, are family and dear and I love them. And I love so many of the people who do work here. I'm doing this from my office in Houston that um, I, I can't, I, I think I need to be here for those reasons too. Because there's part of me that says, yeah, I don't need to make money to pay the bills now. That's, that's, that's gone. Um, so why am I doing it? Well, I think I'm doing it because it's a righteous job. And it's also one that um, I need to be doing. And then finally, it's one that it's going to be uh, a chance to be with my kids and, and other family and people I hold dear. So yeah. it's not, not that I'm doing it to pay the bills anymore. I think I've got those covered for a yeah. while. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was um, in your library. You were giving a tour to us when, when you were expecting to get a wire from Johnson and Johnson on your latest trial, right? What a, what a victory. And you were there teaching people about, you know, what matters most to you. And um, it was quite, it was one of those moments that you were like, wow, this is, this is cool. But um, I guess I, I knew the answer to that. Um, Wanted to hear you sort of express that, but I also see you again, this is my perception um, that your faith fuels your career, that you do become David against Goliath. Mm-hmm. And that when you are in that courtroom, that, the, that, that statutory law and biblical law intersect and that you are doing God's work in a way, right? Yeah. I feel like I'm doing what I was made to be doing. Yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah.